In this session, you'll learn how a DSC, VHF Marine Radio Program with a unique nine-digit code called a Maritime Mobile Service Identity, or MMSI, can help provide for safer boating. You'll learn how having an MMSI is necessary to utilize your radio's digital selective calling, or DSC, feature for automated distress hailing. And you'll learn how having an MMSI can help take the search out of search and rescue in an emergency situation on the water. You'll also learn how to properly register and obtain an MMSI at no charge, how to program an MMSI into your handheld or permanently mounted DSC VHF marine radio, and how to use it in case of an emergency. What problems are we trying to avoid? Not being able to use the full capabilities of your modern marine radio by not having a properly registered MMSI to uniquely identify your vessel plus who you are and where you are. Failing to properly conduct a fully automated Mayday call because of not having your radio connected to your GPS or not knowing your exact location and not having other critical information ready to be sent over your radio in an emergency. Not being able to communicate individually with other vessels whose mobile phone numbers are unknown to you. Allowing distractions to prevent properly attending to passengers and crew, such as too many tasks associated with correctly completing a mayday call. Delaying the dispatch of rescue services by triggering the need for verification procedures, which are required to mitigate false alarms from callers who do not transmit a DSC call with GPS data. Not being able to provide your location to other boaters in your vicinity who may be better able to offer assistance, which happens automatically with an MMSI-enabled DSC call. So how do we do it right? First, ensure that your DSC VHF Marine Radio has the DSC with integrated GPS feature, and if not, consider replacing it with a more modern unit, or learn how to connect your radio with your GPS system. Linking your GPS or other smart navigation device with your DSC radio is essential to ensure that a DSC distress call will automatically broadcast your position. Determine if you will be operating your vessel domestically or will you be traveling overseas. If you intend to travel overseas, request an MMSI number directly from the Federal Communications Commission using its website. If you only intend to operate domestically, then visit usps.org slash MMSI to establish an account, answer basic questions about your vessel, and request an MMSI at no charge. The United States Power Squadrons is authorized by the Federal Communications Commission and the U.S. Coast Guard to issue MMSIs to U.S. flag recreational boats being used in domestic waters. Next. Enter your assigned MMSI into your DSC VHF Marine Radio. DSC equipped VHF handhelds should use the same MMSI assigned to the vessel to which the handheld is primarily associated, even if another onboard radio uses that same MMSI. VHF handhelds not associated with a specific vessel may also register for an MMSI provided by USPS for non commercial boating activities. For handheld and permanently mounted DSC VHF marine radios, follow the radio manufacturer's instructions for entering your MMSI. Use care in entering your nine digit code. For security, false entries can only be corrected by returning the unit to its manufacturer or authorized agent. Once your MMSI has been entered, you can check that your radio is transmitting properly by using test MMSI 00366999 to access the Coast Guard loopback channel. Use care not to test the red button. You can also check proper operation as an added feature by using one of the VHF test channels 24 through 27, whichever provides best local reception, or by placing a point-to-point -point call to a boat operator known to be in your area. Refer to the radio's manual to make a routine call to another DSC VHF Marine Radio by addressing it to the other radio's MMSI. DSC radios currently permit selecting which one of 10 categories best specifies the type of distress call. Abandoning, adrift, capsizing, collision, fire, flood, grounding, person overboard, piracy, or sinking. 
For example, when time is of the essence in an on-the-water emergency, such as the case of a small boat taking on water, the vessel operator can send a sinking MMSI automated distress call from a DSC VHF marine radio and request rapid assistance from other boats within range as well as the Coast Guard. Or when the danger is grave, such as the case of flames suddenly appearing as the result of an electrical system failure, the vessel operator can send a fire MMSI automated distress call from a DSC VHF marine radio and request aid from local emergency services. Or when the incident involves multiple vessels, such as the case of a large and small boat colliding due to poor visibility and communications, the vessel operator can send a collision MMSI automated distress call from a DSC VHF marine radio and request appropriate assistance from the U.S. Coast Guard and possibly local emergency services. DSC emergency calls will be sent as unassigned, the default setting which may be easier to do in critical conditions. With practice, you'll be more prepared for unforeseen emergencies on the water by having your unique MMSI programmed into your marine radio for automatic transmission of your boat's critical information, including your exact location and the nature of your distress, to authorities and other vessels in the vicinity that may be able to provide assistance. You'll be able to identify and reach other boats, even when they are out of range of your conventional mobile phone, with an MMSI-enabled point-to-point call. And you'll be able to provide peace of mind to concerned parties who wish to monitor your location when you're underway. 